Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Vertex Manoj Roy. Today we are doing significant figures and estimation. This topic is very important in all level maths, even in all maths. This without significant figures and estimation, we cannot give our answers. Okay, starting with the significant figures, we have about just five rules to remember. And in estimation, just to remember only three rules. I mean, by the, these rules, you will be able to understand the whole topic of significant figures and estimation. Starting with significant figures, like which numbers are significant, I have divided into three categories. Like, like, like three cases, we have the significant figures. These numbers are 100% significant. Like what? All non-zeros are significant. What do you mean by all non-zeros? Means if there is no zero digit in the numbers, it means all will be significant. Like one, two, three, four. The first is all four. Second is five. Third is two. And the third is three significant figures. So I will write the answer at the end. Then zeros between non-zeros. Like when we have non-zero numbers like one and six and the zeros are between one and six, all will be significant. For example, this one zero zero four, this will be four significant figures. Two nine zero zero six, there will be five significant figures. And these all zeros like six zero seven zero zero eight nine, these zeros will be always significant because these zeros are between non zeros and non zero means means one till nine. Then we have this is very important. It's like uh, uh, the rule the zeros after decimal number decimal numbers but number should be non-zero what do you mean by this like 1.00 this 1.00 when the before decimal the number is non-zero means it can be 10 it can be 9 before decimal if a number is not zero like not zero point something all will be significant this 1.00 three significant figures 9.000 there are four significant figures 203.100 all are significant and there are six significant figures so this rule is i have found this students have problem this this do we have one significant figure this 1.00 or three significant figures so remember when the decimal before decimal a number is more than one more than zero means like not zero zero point something then all numbers will be significant then i'm moving to one more example that's why which numbers are not significant non-significant okay now this just i'm using one example zeros right after the decimal zeros right after the decimal but number should be zero what is what do you mean by this like this is not 1.00 this is 0 0.005 before decimal the number is zero before decimal the number is zero and all the number zeros between like not between within this decimal are not significant it means 0, 0.00 are not significant only 5 is significant means there is only one significant figure now second example is what 0 0.0 0 0.0403 this example 0 0.0403 this 0, 0.0 is not significant but 403 the 0 is significant so now how many significant figures are there three significant figures so 0, 0.0 is not significant 0 0.0403 is the significant number. So there are three significant figures. Now this example you can see 0 0.00100, 0 0.00100. The number the zero like uh, right after the decimal and before decimal you have also zero. All are not significant, but this hundred 0 0.00100 there are three significant figures. But the decimal with the decimal all zeros are not significant. That's just my target now sometimes a number can be significant sometimes a number cannot be significant so this example is very important example number five that's integers integers or whole numbers what do you mean by integers like not in fraction not in decimal are called integers so all the integers which are not in decimal for example here five thousand five thousand uh, this is or like uh, i have also found the students uh, do the mistake five thousand is one significant figure or four significant figure or two significant figure or three significant figure it means this 5000 is one two three four all are possible but i would like to like ad advise you this please uh, give answer one or four both are acceptable 
but this is also one, two, three, or four. All are possible. For example, sixty-two thousand. Sixty-two thousand. How many significant figures are there minimum? Two significant figures, three significant figures, or four significant figures. It can be five. So the best is what you should write two significant figures or the five significant figures. This is good. This two zero zero three zero zero. This can be one. That's the two zero zero three is minimum four significant figures. This can be four. This can be five. This can be six. But the best is what four or six. But don't say this is one significant figure. Okay. These were the explanation about the significant figures. Now I want to move to the estimation. But before estimation, this is the result you can see. Like the significant figures. Like this is four, five, two, three. Second case, I have given the example in the second case one zero zero four four significant five and seven. So you can just go through what we have done in significant figures. So these are the results what we have done in significant. Now estimation. In estimation, like we have just three rules to understand what if a digit is to be dropped is less than five. This is just one very important thing. Just whatever you want to drop. Whatever that's the digit you want to be dropped should be more than five, less than five, or equal to five. There are three categories. So first is what if a digit is to be dropped is less than five. What this is case one. This example here five point two eight three. I want to drop this three. I have underlined this three. This three I want to drop. If I want to drop this three, just think about it. This number is more than five or less than five or equal to five. This is less than five. So just what? Just drop it. Drop it. Just drop it. Whenever, like, if a digit is to be dropped is less than five, just drop it and write the answer. What? Five point two eight. That's it. Very simple method. Just if a number is less than five. Okay. Second case is what? If a digit is to be dropped is more than five or equal to five. So what are the possible examples I can show you? There are two examples. Five point two eight. Five. I want to drop this five. This will be given the question to drop. Like I want to write three significant figures. This five I want to drop, and this seven I want to drop. Both are the same. Like this five is equal to five. This seven is more than five. In this case, what do you want to do? We have to do that. Just drop it and add one to the previous number. Yes. Do you have to drop this five? Like just underline five and add one to the previous number. Add one to eight. So what is the result? The result will be five point two nine, and the second case is what five point two eight seven. I want to drop the seven, and seven is more than five, and just drop it and add one to the previous number. That is also becoming five point two nine. So this, like, are the these are the rules to understand the estimation, and estimation also requires the significant figures. So we have done it. So after doing this significant figures and estimation, like I am just using one example, like few example, just try to do first of all answer yourself. Round up the following into given significant numbers, like ten point four three three. I want to write it into four significant figures. So that's I am using these five examples. Uh, better to just give the answer yourself. Try yourself. So what are the results? Then we like stop my video and just uh, give the answer. Then I am verifying. Okay, let's start. 10.433. We require to give the answer in four significant figures. So that's why the fifth number is selected to be dropped. The fifth number is underlined. That is three. If I drop this three, what do you think? If this number is to be dropped, is more than five or less than five? Yes, less than five. When less than five, just drop it and give the answer. The answer is 10.43. Next is 6.598, and I want to write three significant figures. Three significant figures mean the fourth number should be dropped, and I have underlined this is more than five. Okay, more than five. Then more than five. I want to drop it and add one to the previous number. When I add one to the previous number, the previous number is nine. The previous number is nine. So I will consider not nine. I will consider fifteen nine. This fifteen nine will become what? Sixty. So right answer is six point six zero because all the numbers will be significant after decimal when the number before decimal is non-zero. This number, the third example is I want to write one significant figure. The second number should be drop. Second number is seven. This is most important example I have found in estimation that when this eight seven two five point two, where is the decimal? Where is the decimal? We have decimal after four numbers. So first of all, just think about it. What is the right answer? 
one significant figure. Do you think the answer is 9? 8725.2? The answer is 9? No, the answer is not 9. Please remember when we have decimal number, like sometimes the decimal is not given, it means that is at the end. Decimal will be at the end. So when decimal is given, I want to write, I want to adjust the zero till decimal. Please remember, this is most important example in the estimation. 8725.2. The decimal is like after four numbers, I would write, I will write how many zeros? I will write three zeros till decimal. This is very important example. So the right answer is 9000, not nine. Okay. Next example, 0 0.00 are not significant. I want to write one significant figure. So I want to drop this 8. 8. When I drop 8, this will become what? 0 0.004. That is one significant figure. And you can see my explanation in significant figures. Then I have one example, 1.995. This is the same example like example number 2. What is the answer you think? 1.995. I want to drop this 5. And when a number is to be dropped as more than 5 or equal to 5, I just drop it and add 1. This 99, this 1.99 will become what? 2.00 and that's the three significant figures because I told you a number are all the zeros are significant when before decimal number is non-zero like one, two, whatever. Okay, I want to use one more example with you. The example number six, this is like, exam, like example number three. 487259, I want to write it into two significant figures. That's why I have considered to drop the fifth, the third number. 7 is underlined. If I want to drop this 7, uh, I will make this 8 as 9. So that will become what? 49. Do you think the right answer is 49? No. Till decimal, I have to adjust the 0. Where is the decimal point of this number? The decimal is always at the end. So I will write how many zeros? I will write 4 zeros till decimal. This is the right answer. So please just remember, this is not easy part. Like this time, uh, this we have the problem in this so example when the decimal is given and I want to write one ex one decimal place one is the significant figure or two significant figures so this was the explanation this I have done the significant figures and estimation with you I hope that you understood my video if you think this video is useful for you please subscribe my channel like my video and please share it with your friends and do not forget to press the bell icon button so that you can receive my new videos thank you so much and have a nice day